Hey up guys, so today's film that I'm reviewing is the directorial debut of British filmmaker James Gardner and it's called Jellyfish. Jellies? Sweet, totally. Jellyfish is a social realist dramedy centered around a 15 year old girl called Sarah who's played in this film by Liv Hill who lives in the seaside town of Margate. She has two siblings in primary school and a bipolar mother who's played by Sinead Matthews in this film who Sarah is the primary caregiver for. She supports the family with a part-time job at the local arcade while still attending secondary school and trying to get her GCSEs. Her performing arts teacher, Mr. Hales, who's played by Cyril Nuri, is at his wit's end trying to get Sarah to come up with an act for their class's showcase at the end of term. All the years of bullying from her classmates have given Sarah a fierce wit which she uses as armor. And when Mr. Hales sees this fierce humor, he tells her to channel it into wielding a stand-up act that she can do for her showcase. I went into Jellyfish knowing the basic synopsis that there was going to be a young girl who discovers a hidden talent for stand-up comedy, so I thought I was going to be in for quite a lot of laughs, but this film isn't as funny as you might think it is because the tragedy in this film vastly outweighs the comedy. Sarah's circumstances are dire. Her mother is manically depressed, so it's up to her to feed her siblings, make sure that the electric meter is topped up, and pay the bills. And she's only 15. What's really harrowing is what she has to resort to in order to make ends meet. There are several scenes in this which are particularly difficult to watch because of what Sarah has to resort to. There are moments in Gardner's and co-writer Simon Lord's script which allow you to laugh, but I couldn't help but feel guilty every time I did laugh because the reality of Sarah's world isn't amusing. It's distressingly absurd, but it's completely grounded. The film's finale, which sees Sarah channel her anger, frustration, and vulnerability into a stand-up act, isn't cathartic, it's devastating. More of a confession than a stand-up routine. Liv Hill's performance as Sarah is excellent. She's bitter and resilient, but she's also very caring for her siblings, and her mother, and she plays it with great sensitivity. Sinead Matthews is also spectacular as Sarah's despondent mother, Karen. She's clinically depressed, and Matthews plays her with such fragility that you worry that even just a single negative word will cause her to break into a thousand pieces. Even though she's not what you would call a good mother, you still sympathize with her throughout. I had nothing but pathos for this character, and it's only now after having watched it that I understand why it's called Jellyfish because it's ugly and it stings. It's not a fun experience being stung by one. It's painful. But sometimes the best way to deal with the pain is to laugh about it, or pee on it, if you will. It's absurd, but it can be a useful coping mechanism. Time to ask those three questions. Firstly, would I watch this again? I found Jellyfish to be a very moving and effective film. There's excellent performances and very good direction from James Gardner. The script is very solid as well. I wouldn't say it's a film that demands to be rewatched, but if I needed to watch it again in the future, I wouldn't hate watching it. Secondly, would I recommend it for you guys? If you're someone that appreciates kitchen sink melodrama, or if you're a fan of Mike Lee's films, then yeah, this is definitely one to watch. So yes, I would recommend it, but I wouldn't say it's essential viewing. And thirdly, what score do I give it out of 10? Even though I very much enjoyed watching this film. I will say I wish there was a little bit more resolution. It has a pretty abrupt ending which falls somewhere between hopeful and despair. So it kind of feels a bit neutral and there wasn't much impact to it. So I'm going to give Jellyfish a score of 7 out of 10. There you go guys, those are my thoughts on Jellyfish. But this is just one bloke's opinion. I would love to know yours. Are you guys going to see Jellyfish? Have you seen it? If you have, be sure to let me know what you thought of it in that comment section below. If you guys like my channel, please don't forget to click subscribe. And if you guys want to follow us on Twitter or Instagram, all that info is in that description. Thank you so much for watching, guys. For more things related to movies, TV, and popcorn culture, I'm Luke Airfield, and I'll see you next time.